Also, we want to encourage the PAC to be very timely in your work. There are laws uh, that might have to be considered. And the faster we work, the better we can implement those results and the executive can have timely reports to implement. On this note, we want to encourage you to remain committed. And this is a committee that will set the stage for a credible governance. We are looking forward to continuous support and also to our integrity institutions. I know that the chair on the joint committee talk about financial independence. The legislature has a responsibility to ensure that these institutions have financial independence. If the issue is about disbursement from the executive, we can also use our oversight to ensure that disbursement are made timely so the work can be done in the interest of transparency and accountability, which can assure you that as leaders of the legislature, we'll be committed to that and we're looking forward to seeing the result we put as soon as possible. Thank you. Again, thank you to our distinguished senator, the good time of the address senate. Again, may we all rise as we read on stage our distinguished and important speaker on the day of the Thank you. Have a seat, please. Thank you very much. Honorable President. Let me speak for uh, my colleagues from the House of Representatives, fellow colleagues from the Senate, the head of the GAC and heads of other integrity institutions here present, all political observers. In like view of transparency and accountability, what do we do in the application of public funds? As you begin your work, this opening session is the event. The process now of evaluating these reports and making them public and taking further action is where we begin to see where the rubber is the road. I have several concerns. As a member of the 55th, I'm a little bit amazed, but not deterred at the battleground and welcome it at the battleground of corruption is with the legislature to ensure the fight, to ensure that public transparency and accountability is the key to our government system. The protein and I earlier on committed that transparency and accountability will be the hallmark of the day. That is why we have both agreed to have a system in place at the legislature that can be fully, fully audited. I'm glad that the Senate system audit is almost complete. We are in the process of discussing with the GAC the larger operations of the House to ensure too our system audit will be on the way shortly. But that's just but that's just a small part of the government, as much as people like to make it seem that the legislature takes an overwhelming share of government resources. That is not so. What happens to the others that have resources of government that they are managing? This is where you come in. I'm often amazed when I mean, as you say, there are 180 reports that have been done. Uh, no hearings have been held on them. My question to you is, have there no inappropriate behavior deducted, detected from your assessment or your audit process? Because we can't wait to come to the PAC if crimes are being committed to make a determination. In the process of an audit, in the process
process of an accountability process, then there's a suspicion of a crime, the Ministry of Justice and the LACC should be immediately notified. It is not an exclusive process. Secondly, to the integrity institutions, the IAA, you are in these institutions now. When you see something, you have to say something and you have to make reports and you have to call it out. There, we think, is this fear of the executive that paralyzes the ability to make robust reports and robust interventions to prevent some of these things that you will discover later on. And that must be part of the process and part of the system. We are glad to be here today. We are glad that you are starting this process. We trust the Joint Committee, the PAC, it has credible individuals there. We trust you will do the work accordingly. Let the evidence lead you where they may. But we must also be cautious. It is nowadays unfortunate that government is ran on Facebook or government is ran on certain TV platforms where you have conducted an audit and maybe it is even in draft phase and all of a sudden we see information in the social media that takes snippets of what you have done and start to castigate individuals. How long would you wait to bring the actual report out? So if a, a, a Facebook blogger or a network can pick up a letter or a page from a report, how fair is it, how transparent is it, is it how, accountable, how accountable is it? We must use this system and develop a system that must be fair to all and play by one set of rules so that no one group can pay a higher price in this context of accountability. We support what you do, we congratulate you, and we will always stand with you. I understand the PhD is challenging the size of the budget, that they are not the largest, or based on the request I received in my office, they will be the largest in the <laughs> The voice of Speaker J. Fonati Kofadei speaking for. Uh, you listen to him, and I with here currently now to commence the the hearing, folks. Many thanks to all of you. Keep watching for the very best. This online platform has to offer you today Liberia Television. Again, before we take our benediction and close the session, we also want to remind you that the officials hearing into the Auditor General report commands on Wednesday. We are inviting everyone who may have interest in witnessing the hearing. We have, we have enough spaces here that you can have a seat. At this time, Honor of God is the APAC Joint Committee Chair, both horses, the House of Representatives, the Liberian Senate. Uh, he's the Joint Chair of the PAC. And I uh, today having to be the official uh, opening, and as of tomorrow, we're going to be having a uh, Committees okay. and uh, administrators that are going to be coming for the hearing. So, folks, many thanks and keep watching us as the joint committee chair uh, give you all the. Again, the public is invited. On this note, we we'll take benediction. Here, this will be a, a line. All media institutions are invited. On this note, we we'll take benediction. Again, we we'll stand in a seven or eight. So indeed, this is how we love to take leave of you on this platform, folks. I've been Jay Cassius. Many thanks to uh, you for following yeah. us. Also, my